parts now separated by based on the colors. So we have charcoal, gray, black, white, the off-white or gray, a lighter, or lighter tone gray, the blue, and I mix the red, the yellow, the clear yellow, and the metallic um, silver or chrome here in this section. I also forgot that I also have these little um, <laughs> actually no, where did this come from? Is this the Freedom Chrono Liberation XXG? No, this ain't it. Hmm. You know what? This is actually from something else. And I think this is it. Right. I had it there for some other reason. Here are the decals right here. Yeah, because I was like looking at at this and say, wait a minute, does this belong with this? And I said, you know what? No, that's actually from the other kit that I built, and I must have put it to the side. Anywho, -hoo -hoo, here it is. I'm surprised. I was like looking at a lot of parts here, and very, very few and far between parts that you can that you're going to take a lot of time to clean up and stuff like that. But there are a lot of parts, which I was a bit surprised. The size of the shield is kind of almost similar to that of a, a of a high grade or real grade which I do have and consequently I think this could be around the same maybe same size in one way but it could be a little different in another well definitely um, use it for comparison um, I was also surprised that this kit comes with th this kit comes with manipulator fingers which something you don't normally see um, for this type of kit. Um, yeah. Now, I'm going to begin a, uh, cleaning up a little bit more, and I don't know how much of this and how much of this and this and maybe that that is required for me to build the inner frame. Um, I know that I may have to end up removing, whoops, removing the clear part from the from the clear blue, this one, for the assembly of the head, basically the inner frame of the head. So, I guess it's going to probably be removed, regardless of the case. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I am planning to put decals on this, but I am going to buy the better decals. I know that sooner or later, and maybe it's already out there, Bandai has released the... Um, the official Master Grade SD uh, decals, which maybe or maybe or maybe not sitting out there, but I want to at least maybe sometime in the end of the summer get the uh, the the new you know an updated version of the decals so I can put it on because this even though this looks amazing how it looks I've seen people put nice decals on it so that that's going to be um, that's going to be fun to fun to do. And then I think I'm going to find, wow, I, I just didn't notice this until I looked at it right now. I'm going to zoom in on it again. But check out the, the detail eyes. Oh my god. That is really nice. I was surprised now that I'm looking at it at this moment. Okay. So, yep, let me begin cleaning them up. Actually, I'm going to clean them all up first. That's going to take me a little bit of time. And then I'm going to begin the assembly of the inner frame. Alright. We are going to begin the assembly of the inner frame. Obviously, this kit has parts that you need to put on that's from the armored parts, whether it's the white or the off-white or the black or the blue. Uh, we're going to put them on just so it gets supported so we can see how the how it looks with the inner frame. But begin, we'll begin with the head first. And now we have this little metallic part here, followed by this, covering the eyes. The instructions do does say to cover these up with the um, with the, with the gold uh, clear part the eyes, but we're not going to do that. Then we have this part, which co consequently I cut it, but. I cut here, yet that was snapped off. And I was like, I didn't cut this. It was a clean cut. 
I think this is a damaged part. I did recover it putting on some glue. And now I'm putting it on to see how, how well it looks. But I may have to... Re I, I put super glue on it, but I think I'm going to have to remove it. Let me see. And then redo it again so that way it can conform with the part. There we go. I think that, that looks good, but I'm going to have to glue it up and then sand it down nicely. Strange how it how that happened, I was like, wait, I, I, I know for a fact, I, I if I would have cut this, I would have saw markings or scarring. But, I did not. Um, so now we put this one back here. Followed by, I believe this will go there. And then this goes here. I'm not gonna close it all the way because I don't want I don't wanna have no resistance of uh, yanking it off and breaking it. It's just a little bit there just to show off how the head looks. Alright. That's actually kinda neat, this weird mouth like setup. But obviously it's the face mask and Yeah. Alright. Head's done. Let's move on to the next part of the build. All right, next up is going to be the torso or chest unit of the Freedom Gundam SD. And uh, we're going to pull up, let me see, this part here, over here. And then we will need, I believe, this that goes like that. Followed by this part that goes there. And then this cover that goes right over here. There we go. And you know, it's getting a little warm here because the temperature is getting a little, little high. Fortunately, I have access to my AC controller. Come on, turn it on. I don't know how well this will sound, especially with the choo-choo train just hitting, you know, annoying me, but it is what it is. Alright, so with that done, we that need to go right here. And that completes this part. Now, this and this goes here. This is the connector for the neck head. And this one goes right through there. And then going back to this. Uh, let me see here. That goes like that here. This supposedly goes there. Let me see. There we go. And then this one goes there. Whoops. I pushed it in too fast, not realizing that I missed a hole. Hmm. There we go. There we go. I'm kind of surprised right now to, that I'm just realizing, obviously it's an SD kit. I suppose it's a master grade, but at least I guess they, there's no way they can actually squeeze in the cockpit area for the pilot, as in other master grade kits. But that's how it looks. And then we have d these two detail parts. Um, just sort of a moment ago where to put it. Yep, that goes there. And that goes here. Like that. Now, the actual connectors to the, uh, for the shoulders to the chest. We have this part that goes here. This part that goes, I believe, like that. 
that could be wrong. I'm doing it this way. And then this goes like that. Let's do the reverse. And then that goes there. Nope, wait, wrong, wrong. Because the that little notch needs to be facing up, and I think... Yeah, this one's fine, okay. So this supposedly goes there, and then we turn like that. This one goes there, and we turn like that. I think that's it. Alright. Feels a little off for whatever reason. Hold on a second. Uh, no, I guess this is okay. Fair enough. Pretty much it has a lot of pivot motions there. Okay. There we go. The chest unit of the Master Grade SD Freedom is now complete. Small, compact, a lot of parts, of course, but complete. And we haven't even put on the armor parts yet. But that's okay. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. Alright, so the next part is going to be something that we're missing a part now. Hold on. <laughs> You was here a minute ago. Come up, there you are. Alright. Let's try that again. I was saying what good timing. Alright. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, so the next part is going to be the arms of the Master Grid SD Freedom Gundam. We're going to begin with the shoulders. And I might oh, forget another part here. <laughs> there she is. Alright, third time's a charm. Three, two, one. So the next part of the build will be the inner frame of the arms for the um, Freedom Gundam. SD Master Grade. We're going to bring with the shoulder parts first. And we're going to need this. That will go here. This. That will go there. This part. That will go here. And it Gotta be very careful here because I believe there are, there are these little teeth on this. It has to fall into place like so. And once it's done, then you close it up. Now, obviously, the whole purpose of this is that when you bring this down, this pops up and then pops down. So that's obviously there's more parts that makes up the shoulders, but we'll get to those, of course, later on. Now, we take this. We take, I believe, this, put that there. We take that and put this here, like so. And then we close it up. I have to admit, that has the smallest inner frame joint I have ever seen. And it works. But we're not done yet. Because, unfortunately, and I just noticed it now, there are some parts that, um, that you need to extend it out so you can put the hands on. Kind of, um... Similar to what I remembered on the Master Grade uh, Prometheus Gundam. No, Providence Gundam. I'm saying Prometheus. So you take this, you put that, I believe, there. Take this. And this. And put 
this here. I'll get gotcha. Put that here. Or there. There we go. So that completes that. You Oh wait a minute. I miss one part here. No no. I'm right. So you have this part that makes up the uh, shoulder connecting. So uh, the part that connects the shoulder to the arm. You put these two around this. This I can understand. There's kind of a no way around this. And then you put that here. Like so, I believe. No, oh, here. That's right. And then that goes here when the time comes but this is this is the part that I wanted to build which is basically the arm the uh, hands the finger joints go there that goes, oh, hold on. That goes there that goes there then you have to put this on to cover it up like so. And then you have this. It goes there. And then finally, that goes there. And there you are. The arms of the Master Grade SC Freedom Gundam is now complete. There is more parts around this which I will have to review and clean up and all that stuff. It is obvious that I gotta take these parts off. Can it be painted the way it is? But I wanted to show off how it looks like for now. And yeah, I mean, I'm not faulting them to not figuring out how to put inner frame parts going all the way down here to connect to the hand. Um, that's not on them. So, so they're doing the open. Um, an amazing work just by doing it getting it to this point so it's really nice okay let's now move on to the next part of the build